All right, we're at our second variables challenge here. And this one's specifically testing magic numbers. Now, it's kind of a two-part challenge. One, I want you to come up with a better name. Two, I want you to figure out if you can kind of see what time 86,400,000 is representing. And if you can't, that's okay, because this is the exact point of why magic numbers can be cause a lot of issues. Go ahead, pause the screencast, see if you can do it. Were you able to? I wouldn't have been able to, just for the record. But what this actually is, is milliseconds in a day. So one thing I wanted to show you is not only, you know, go ahead and rename this to something that makes sense. But also, when dealing with items where th they're calculation-based, instead of putting this number, and I'll go ahead and just put it right above here, a better use case for that is actually to show the multiplication or show the calculation to show how you got there. So how do we get there? Well, there's 60 minutes in a day, 60 seconds in a minute, 24 hours in a day, and then 1,000 milliseconds, seconds. I think I said that backwards. So um, 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, 1,000 milliseconds. And so we get our full multiple there. Not only do we get a context in the variable, we also see how we get to this calculation here, which is a lot more descriptive than simply throwing the 86 million in there.